as human beings, we are always moving through different stages and different phases of our own personal evolution in which things that feel relevant and resonant to us in one stage, we eventually outgrow and we move to the next stage of our evolution in which that thing no longer feels relevant. It no longer feels in resonance with who we are at the core of our being. It doesn't feel like it fits us anymore. It's kind of like a a snake that's shedding its skin. We are constantly going through this transition phase of a metamorphosis in which the caterpillar is going to turn into a butterfly in its own unique way. And this doesn't end. It's not like the caterpillar comes out of its cocoon and turns into a butterfly and flies away. That's not really how life works. We are constantly re-entering that cocoon. We are constantly re-entering that phase in which we go within and this in this time of introspection, of really tuning into ourselves to feel into what feels right, what feels in alignment, and the tension within our body of when something feels out of alignment just feels like discomfort, you know, whether it's a relationship or it's a job that you're in or whether it's a way that you're treating your body, you know, whether it's something more physical like what you're eating and how much exercise you're doing and things like this, you know, no matter how how much depth this this transformation has within your being, we all move through that phase in which we feel like we are ready to transform into a different version of ourselves. So as we move through these different stages and these phases of our own evolution, what happens is we begin to sense when we are starting to outgrow our own skin and when it's time for for change, for when it's time to evolve in a way that feels best suited to who we truly are, what we emanate from the depths of our being, what we offer this world, what we have come here to emanate. And healing has always been such a passion of mine. I've always wanted to, I've always been fascinated in different ways we can heal the body for many, many years. Although there is some level of inauthenticity that feels like it is starting to play out in my work more and more in which I thought that I could ignore it at first, whereas now it's kind of like I can't turn the blind eye anymore. I have to address it. There is some level of inauthenticity because I do not truly believe at the core of my being that we balance in any kind of hormonal disruption or any bodily ailment for that matter by looking at physical healing, by looking at diet and supplements and all of these different things. I truly believe that every imbalance within the body stems from energetic root cause. It stems from something that is so deep within our being. I do not believe that imbalance stems from the poor diet or any of these things that we become so fixated on when we are looking to heal our bodies and it does not feel in alignment or in resonance for me to be offering work that is solely addressing imbalance from that level of healing. And you're going to see this in my work more and more from here on out. Like the program that I'll be launching very soon as I just finalize the promotion video for it. Um, Yeah, we do all of the physical healing stuff. Yes, we look at all of the ways in which you can totally press reset on your system. You can heal your gut and you can improve your immune system and you can reset the endocrine system and all of these different things. Yes, you can do that. Although that is just another approach in which we are not looking at the ultimate solution. We are looking at a tool that can be used to heal the body in that moment of imbalance. We are not looking back to understand why this even happened in the first place. And until you're willing to ask that question and willing to answer it, really willing to look within yourself and answer the question, why did this happen in the first place? Then what else is going to unfold in the future? What kind of imbalance is going to play out? Because as long as you are disconnected from yourself in any way, you are unable to sense 
when things are becoming imbalance, whether that is in your life or whether that is in your body. So the body of work that I offer and the teachings that I feel are relevant for me to offer to the world and to women are taking a big change from here on out because I'm very uninterested in talking to you about supplements and talking to you about very, very shallow surface level ways in which you can combat this imbalance because it's not truthful. It would be inauthentic for me to tell you that that is what is going to heal your body. It is not what I truly believe is going to heal the body and to help you step into the most incredible, radiant, bright, true version of yourself. When we stop fixating on the quick fix approach, when you turn away from medicine, you think that you're doing it the natural way and you're doing the hard yards. But if you were just turning to demanding what foods are going to heal you or what supplement you can take, you're just doing the same thing, disguise as a better, more healthy way. You've still got this paradigm in which you want it just to be like this. So the sooner you can let go of this quick fix approach, the sooner you can stop searching YouTube for the ultimate video that's going to change everything. You know, each of my videos is just here to offer you love and comfort and support and maybe a little bit of information, but you are not going to find the ultimate blog or video that is just going to tell you, voila, this is it. This is exactly what I need to do. And it's just going to work for me in such a short period of time. Honor your body's process. Tell yourself, I know that I haven't been so loving to you. I know that I haven't been so loving to my body, but I'm willing to put in the hard yards to reverse this. And I don't care how long it takes because I know by doing it properly, I will reverse any kind of imbalance or illness from playing out in the future. Because when you are connected to your body and you are operating from a place of deep love and respect for your body and for yourself, for your emotions, then imbalance doesn't occur. That doesn't exist. Imbalance is just the response to a human not taking care of themselves and not honoring themselves, not honoring their boundaries and not living authentically and not standing up for the right life for them. They've fallen into a life that is just driven by productivity and by, I need to be a certain way. I need to be a certain type of person in order to be accepted by my family, by my culture, by my society. We have completely overdriven ourselves and disconnected from ourselves from our bodies, which has led to imbalance. So this reversal process is going to take time. It's going to take patience. So it feels inauthentic for me to be operating from a place of healing the body. So I have created this program, the Intuitive Healing Program, which is, of course, healing the body from the physicality focus but it is going so much beyond that we go so much deeper than that and it moves me to see the women who are already moving through it contact me and say oh my goodness I'm having so many deep moments of realization and I'm having these emotional purges and I had never even considered this that is the work that I want to start offering to the world all of the ways we never even considered why this imbalance showed up in the first place that is where we should be looking. All of those dark and scary corners that we don't want to go to. We don't want to face that because it feels scary and icky and uncomfortable. We don't want to bear the heavy weight of our own emotions. So we develop compensatory behaviors to avoid the pain, to distract ourselves, to numb ourselves. And every single time you do that, every single time you overeat or you go out or you distract yourself with a going out with friends or even reading a book or watching a movie, every time you are distracting yourself from the heavy weight of your own emotions, which just want to be seen and heard and acknowledged, you are again turning away and disconnecting yourself from your body. And that's where imbalance starts. And imbalance ends when you tune back in and you live from that place. It's not just intellectually listening to this video and being like, okay, I'm going to start connecting more. It's like being the embodiment of self-love and being the embodiment of someone who is so connected to themselves. 
feeling so connected to your body that you know when something's off, you know immediately, that you can't even go on without your, you can't even go on with your day without correcting that behavior, without correcting that misaligned thought, without taking a moment just to be with yourself, without carrying on with a crazy chaotic day, without slowing down. Because we don't know how to slow down. And when we don't know how to slow ourselves down, guess what? Life will slow you down. It'll slow you down with some crazy type of health ailment that will that will leave you feeling like you're you have to stop dead in your tracks and reconsider everything. Reconsider the way you've been living your life for many years. I'm going to leave it there for now, but you're going to be hearing more from me soon. And my videos are going to be taking a bit of a turn. And for anyone who is interested with this perspective of healing the body and they want to know what the truth is when it comes to healing and balance, then I'm very interested in speaking with you and talking with you and working with you. But I'm not going to be answering questions and emails and comments on my, um, sorry, direct messages on Instagram and whatnot that are just related to supplements and related to the really shallow layers of healing because it is not in alignment with my own authentic modality of healing and I have to honor that within myself so I love you and I'll speak with you soon